Hey guys, this is Mr. Tech and Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use Safari to download any mega video video for free. So this will work for TV shows, movies, music videos, and pretty much any video that you can find on mega video. So as I said, you're going to need Safari, which comes on your Mac, and if you don't have it for some reason, you can download it from Apple.com for free. And then you're also going to need another piece of software, uh, which I'll show you later, but the link will be in the description anyways. So, first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your Safari and find a mega video video that you want to download. Now, uh, on Windows, I'm not sure how you do this, but on Mac, you want to go up to the window menu here and then click on Activity. It will bring up this huge list of random stuff and this stuff is everything that's on the page here so the, including the video so if your video hasn't completely loaded so like if this bar down here is not completely full uh, in this activity window you're gonna scroll down and find something that says uh, like it will probably say like five megabytes out of 50 megabytes and then when it's fully loaded on the video page it will say 50 megabytes out of 50 megabytes. So for me, mine is 4 megabytes total, and it completely loaded. So all this random stuff that's like in kilobytes, don't worry about that. Just go down to where you see something in megabytes, and it should have like megavideo.com slash files in it, and that's what you want to get. So once you've fully loaded your thing so it's completely uh like loaded so like four megabytes out of four megabytes you want to click uh double click on it it's going to bring up a page and then you should see in your downloads uh window here it's going to start downloading all right so as you can see here this is the file that i just downloaded from mega video the size is 4.2 megabytes uh, which is pretty similar to the one that was actually on the web page. Uh, so you have this random file, and if you double click it, it just opens in text edit. Now the way to fix this is that you want to like highlight it, like click it once, and then uh, on Mac you want to press enter and type in FLV, and on Windows uh, you just want to right click it and choose rename, and then add FLV at the end. And then now uh, it should turn into a flash video. So you can either play this using a flash player, but if you want to convert it to something for like your iPhone or your uh, iPad or something like that, uh, you're going to need to convert it. So uh, this piece of software called MPEG Stream Clip is completely free and uh, you can get it for Mac. For Windows, there's something called All Video Converter, I think, which is also free, which I think will do the job, but uh, I'm not too sure. So anyways, just download this, and then open it up. So MPEG Stream Clip should look like this. You're just going to want to drag this video into MPEG Stream Clip. It's going to immediately identify the video, and if I try to play it, it will play the video. Now, if you want to convert it, you're going to have to go to File up here, and then you can go uh, Export at, to MPEG-4. That's like for your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. Uh, QuickTime is if you just want to play it on your Mac. AVI is like your Xbox or whatever. Audio is if you just want the audio from the video. For example, if it's like a YouTube video and you want uh, the music. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to convert it with QuickTime. Here you've got a bunch of random settings. Uh, just leave it on like something pretty s like simple. So just put on H.264. And then here's the frame size. You can change it to HD if you want, but the quality won't like improve, just telling you. So uh, once you've got all the settings you want, just click Make Movie. And it's going to uh, convert that. You can also change the name now to like the real name of the video. Then just click Save. 
and it's going to export. Here's the progress up here. And now I'll show you the finished movie. All right, so here's the final product. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it plays uh, just like the original movie. Uh, the quality isn't that great, obviously, because the original video quality was not that good to start with. Uh, but now you would be able to play this on your Mac computer, your Windows computer, or uh, put it on your like iPhone, iP iPod, or iPad. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.